when I think back about some of the investments I've made in my business, live in-person events ranks top. I've seen so many people go to these events and get business from them, make lifelong friends, and just grow their business in general and learn. So today we're talking about work hard, play hard retreat again, and I'm here with Kristen Goss from Goss Boss, and she is one of our retreat speakers. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Julie. Thanks How for are having you? me. Good, yeah. good. Good. <laughs> Why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So as Julie said, my name is Kristen Goss. My business is Goss Boss. That is how I'm kind of known around uh, these parts here in Pittsburgh where I'm based and also online. And I'm a visual storyteller. So I really love working with ambitious, action-taking female entrepreneurs and business owners and I help them build branded visuals. So I do that through photos and videos. Um, those visuals help them sell more products and services. And you know, also the underlying mission of Goss Boss is also to not only help you feel confident in your business, but confident as a woman. Because it's not natural for a lot of us to get in front of the camera, right. whether it's photos or videos. And um, I feel like that is my special, little skill set and what kind of sets me apart from other photographers and videographers is that I can really help you feel comfortable and confident on camera, you know, even during a one hour session. I love that. It's so true. I get so nervous sometimes, even though I've done a hundred videos and photo shoots at this point, I still get inside my head. And so that's why I thought it was really important to have someone like you rather than just someone who's just going to video the event. I wanted someone like you to come to the event and help these women gain confidence in their photos and videos and and know what to say and you know just give them tips and walk them through step by step um, in this entrepreneurial world that we live in so much of it is virtual here we are on video I'm in North Carolina you're in Pennsylvania and I think having us in person at the event where you can stage us you can show us about our body language or our posture is just going to be so important so, yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, like, I'm a visual learner, mm -hmm. and that's how I, I work during my shoots as well, is that I will literally get on a chair or a couch and show you, um, you know, the way things not necessarily should be, but the way, mm -hmm. you know, they look really good and translate well on camera. Um, and it's funny, too, because I have a little golden rule that I'll share with everyone, and it is... If it feels uncomfortable, it looks good on camera. So just know that things translate differently on camera than they would in real life. And I, I deal with it every session, every shoot. You know, my client will say to me, this feels awkward. <laughs> really, I really have to like put my hands on my face and use my hands and sit a certain way. And um, yes, yes, you do. <laughs> I have tons of experience with this. I, I you know, um, I've done this, I've been around the block and, um, and it's funny because that's how I approach my shoots and my sessions. And, and again, what makes me a little bit different than maybe other people, um, is that I'm not afraid to touch, move your hair, move your hand, move your body, um, and direct you through what will look good in the final product. Perfect. That's awesome. So that made me think of the story. When I was in corporate America, I was asked to do a photo shoot for the company that I was working for. And <laughs> I had to do this walking scene where I was walking through the office, but next to a colleague of mine who was a male. And they're like, you have to stand almost like touching for it to look natural in the picture. I'm like, this is super awkward. <laughs> they made us stand and look at each other like we were talking. And I swear we were this, like our faces were this close and we're like, are you sure this is what you want? And the pictures turned out amazing. And it's just that, you know, people like you can look through that lens and know where that spacing, where that, where the people need to be, where the hair needs to be. And so it's definitely a gift. And we've at Sparkle Hustle Grow, we have used you for our videos in the past. So it just makes sense for, for you to get involved in the event. So, so tell us why do you love going to live events for your business? So I've been on this entrepreneurial journey for almost three years. I resigned in June, 2016. And I've kind of found that it's funny because 
a lot of entrepreneurs, especially here in the online space, are introverts. Mm -hmm. And I'm the complete opposite. Like, I'm an extrovert. Like, I don't know that I could ever be 100% online and give up that in-person service provider um, aspect of my business because I really feed off of everyone's energy. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm 100% empath, but if you're woo-woo, a little woo-woo, I, I really do feel, feed off of people's energy. And I feel yeah. that's what makes me a really good visual storyteller is that I can just, you know, I feel what you feel. And I need that connection to make me feel whole. Yeah. So I need to get out and, you know, meet people and talk with them. And, you know, that's something that I really miss from, from my, you know, background. Um, you know, working in corporate marketing is, is where I came from as well. And, you know, I miss those little banters, those like water cooler conversations uh -huh. where you have like these, sometimes these like epiphanies or like aha moments. Like I don't necessarily get that a lot. And it's that in-person conversation and connection that like I personally really crave. Um, I, have always been like that. I've always been outgoing. I've always been social. So for me, like, that's what I love most about it is, is that in-person connection. Like I really do feed off of that. Yes. Yeah, my daughter would call it, it fills your bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. and it's, it's fun too, to think back about our history. You know, you're, you're based in Pittsburgh. I'm originally from the Pittsburgh area, yet our paths never crossed until we were in the online space. And then we got to meet and hug in person. And now you're my go-to and you're who I refer everybody to. It just goes to show you, um, build, you can start to build these relationships with people online. But then when you take them to an in-person event, it takes them to another level. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. And I mean, just a, such a great example of that is, is working with Jessica from All Girl Shave Club. Mm -hmm. She's been following me for a while. She knew you, um, me through you. Yep. Um, but I sent her a client feedback form and she said that one of the main reasons that she decided to create with Goss Boss is because we met in person at the Boss Mom Retreat. Sure. And so like, you know, I think we would have eventually um, worked together had we not, you know, met in person in mm -hmm. San Diego. But I think that was such a, a big um, push for her is like meeting me in person, knowing that like I was a real person and like could really communicate the goals and the vision of her business. Um, even in a quick little five, 10 minute chat that we had in between breakouts. Oh. Um, so, you know, I think that is such an added benefit um, to these events is, is, you know, like you said, meeting in the online space and maybe following mm -hmm. someone for a while. And, um, it, it's a totally different feeling or environment being in person with someone, even mm -hmm. virtually on Facebook live, like you can get to know someone and you can get to see how they, um, you know, how they work, but it's totally different. Like you said, being able to meet in person, hug and, and just interact. <laughs> exactly. And for you introverts out there, you don't have to hug. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm a hugger. I'm a toucher. Like that's just who I am. Me too. Me too. Like... <laughs> and before we move on to the next question, I wanted to point out too, that you and I were having a conversation before we started recording and you were already talking about some of the people that you had developed on, um, online friendships with or had seen at other events, but you're, you're like, I need to hire that person, but I, I want to get to know them a little bit better. And I'm really excited about that at the retreat. So I'm really glad to hear that. And I think that is a huge perk of in-person events is really getting to know those people that you are going to invest in. So yeah. Yeah. And just having like, again, like a little one-off or like side conversation and saying mm -hmm. like, Hey, this is, this is what I'm thinking. Like, can we make it happen? Yes. And, you know, just seeing if it's a reality and like, just again, doing that in person and, you know, setting that, you know, setting that, um, setting that up, you know, yes. right then and there. Yeah. So whoever's coming to our event, be prepared to do business. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Yes. So lastly, let's talk about what you're presenting and what you're doing. Cause you're, you're going to be on stage, but you're also be, be recording videos. So let's talk a little bit about that, what those videos are and what you're presenting. Okay. 
So um, obviously I am the event videographer. So mm -hmm. I like to tell people that I'm literally like a fly on the wall. Like you don't have to do any um, direct posing or interacting with the camera. Like I just want to capture the event for what it, for what it is. Yeah. Um, those interactions, um, those connections, and then, you know, just obviously like the fun of it. Like we're going to be in Mexico. Like, yeah. like what a gorgeous backdrop. This is like a dream come true as a videographer. Yay. It just <laughs> gets that, um, yeah. And to be shooting outside and have that bright light. I'm like, yes, like this is going to be so gorgeous. <laughs> um, but I'm also a speaker. And so my presentation is about, um, developing your elevator pitch. Um, and delivering that on camera. So um, in my presentation, it's re I'm going to um, ask three questions to mm -hmm. help you form your elevator pitch. Um, and if you are not familiar, I think a lot of us are, but your elevator pitch is basically like what you do. Mm -hmm. um, I know that most of us are not shut-ins. We still interact with friends, family, and potential, you know, clients on a daily basis. So everyone has that question. Yes. Um, your elevator pitch is the delivery of what you do. And for me, you know, especially in my presentation, I want you to think and frame that 30 to 60 second pitch, but I want you to think of it in terms of like reaching out to your ideal client mm -hmm. or customer and making it about them and less yes. about you. And also bringing the emotions into it. Because like I said, like I'm a very emotional person. That is how I build my business. And so, you know, I think sometimes when we hear elevator pitch, we think sales. Like we don't want to be like this car salesman that's like, right. here's what I do. Here's how you can book. Here's, mm -hmm. you know, here's what I cost. Like that's all fine and dandy. But like people want to feel that emotion that like, they know that you're a real person with feelings mm -hmm. and that you have probably built your business in a way that you want to help best help and serve others. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's kind of, you know, the day one aspect of what I do is building that pitch. And we're going to ask one brave lady to come up on stage and kind of work through it. Um, you know, as, uh, as best we can. <laughs> I think that is brilliant because there's nothing better than leading by example. So we can, you know, we'll talk about these three questions and we'll start carving out these, these pitch or these elevator pitches, elevator stories together. But then someone's actually going to, we're going to work through it. And again, that leading by example, I think it's going to be so impactful. So once we write our pitches, then what? So then day two is the interactive part of it all. Mm -hmm. And that is where I will be filming your elevator pitch or intro video on location at the retreat. So this is big, um, not only monetarily, it's a $500 value. I do not shoot video for less than $500. So um, uh, this is, you know, such a great piece of content that you can use on your website mm -hmm. in place of an about me or on your homepage. Um, the, the video that I built for Sparkle Hustle Grow lives on your homepage and we built that two years ago, over two years ago now. Um, and so it's, it's really, you know, we want this, as long as your business doesn't change that much, we want right. it to be evergreen and kind of last for a while yep. um, because it is an investment. Um, but, but yeah, it's about just showing up on camera, and, you know, like I said, maybe throwing some emotions into it, being a bit vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You'll have me there. I'm an expert. I have lots of clients that can um, attest to me helping them feel comfortable and confident on camera. Yep. And um, so it's about, you know, creating this piece of content that you can share and use everywhere and making it, you know, so like work for your business, right? Because right. people buy from people. Yeah. And it's one thing to build this avatar online and to have, you know, all this like wonderful cohesive branding and wonderful graphics and everything. But like to have a video where it's you speaking about your business, about your mission and who you serve, like that is priceless. It's so impactful. Yeah, you know, we've used ours on the homepage. We've shared it with people that we want to collaborate with that have not heard of our business, have heard of Sparkle Hustle Grow. And we're like, oh, here, watch this video. This is what yeah. we're all about. <laughs> we've used it in Facebook ads very successfully. So it's just can be used in so many different things. And here's the fun thing too. Not only are you going to be there coaching them through this and um, 
you know, helping everyone become more confident in their pitches and on their on camera presence. But Renee Gonzalez, who is our director of customer happiness at Sparkle Hustle Grow, she's going to be the hype girl. So she's going to be there. She's going to be helping out everyone to feel like super comfortable. You know, if you need someone to tell you that you're amazing, she's your gal. So she's going to yeah. be there um, alongside this on-site studio setup that we have. And so, ladies, when you show up, there's no excuse. You've got professional. You've got the setup. You've got your. We're going to make sure the lighting's good. And the audio is good. So you have no excuse. You just got to show up. And I say that all the time. I'm like, you got to show up to be seen. Mm -hmm. And with this online world we live in, you know, the visibility is so, it's so important. And so that second day where we're having the workshops, we have this overarching theme of put your best foot forward. And so they'll be able to do that with um, photos. We're doing headshots with another photographer. You're doing video. And then we've got two workshops that we'll tell you about in another video that will help everyone put your best foot forward. So we're really excited about having you there, Kristen. Um, I can't think of any better videographer to be there to help all these women tell their brand stories. So ladies, if you're interested in joining me and Kristen and all the other amazing women at Sparkle Hustle Grow and in our tribe, go to sparklehustlegrow.com forward slash retreat and get all the details about the Work Hard, Play Hard Retreat this September in Riviera Maya, Mexico. We can't wait and we'll hope to see you there. Bye. Bye.